Sam Ross meets Chris Fountain, aka Justin from Hollands. Chris, um, how come you decided to leave Hollyoaks? Um, basically, I've been in Hollyoaks for around, well, six years. I joined Hollyoaks when I was 15, I'm 22 now. I left about three months ago. Justin was a, a fantastic character, so there's no way I could have been typecast after Hollyoaks because Justin was a bad boy, then he was uh, in love, then he was a uh, kind of good guy, and towards the end he became like the so-called heartthrob uh, and got the girl and left in style. It was good, it was really, it was really, really good, but um, very fortunate to have such a great character and so on. You were happy you died in a fire? I didn't actually die in a fire. Oh, okay. I actually I got blamed for setting off the fire and then turned out it wasn't me and then I did a runner. How did you get in Hollyoaks in the first place? Um, I, I've actually no idea to be honest because <laughs> the day I had my audition for Hollyoaks, I'd just come back from Mexico, it was like a 10 hour flight and then it's a 7 hour time difference so we got back into um, Manchester about, uh, what time is it, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, bear in mind I thought it was like 8 o'clock in the morning so I was absolutely knackered and my agent called me and she was like yeah you've got an audition for Hollyoaks. I was like oh come on, do I have to? I was absolutely shattered and she was like yeah just, just go for it. So. Me and my mum, we drove up to Liverpool, um, did the audition, possibly one of the worst auditions of my life. Um, messed up all the lines, almost fell asleep in the, in the audition. And then, um, fortunately, they called me back two weeks later, and then I went for the audition, did a lot better, and they called me up the next day and said, uh, you start in two weeks, so that was my idea. Come in. I've been excluded because of you. No. Oh. Do you see what she just did? Did you know you were going to be the, uh, the, the bad boy? No, originally, originally, yeah. originally, when I first got the script, they, they said I was going to be a goth. Okay. Um, which didn't actually happen, which I was a bit thankful about because I'm not sure I'd suit eye makeup and black clothes. Um, but no, I think, to be fair, I think for, for me, as, as like kind of a soap fan and a soap actor, I think Justin was one of the best characters ever, ever to grace the soap screens, in my, in my opinion, just because of the variety and kind of um, eclectic mix of different kind of characters and, and emotions that I had to play as in. So what are you up to next? Um, I've literally just finished filming um, a show for the BBC called Five Days in which I'm playing a policeman, which was really nice for me because literally when you come out of soap, everyone expects you to kind of flop because not many soap actors come out of something and go into something straight away, whereas I kind of went into this thing called Five Days, uh, playing a policeman as I said. So I've just finished that, I've got um, a few days left on that to, to film and then um, that's taking me up to November and then I start Panto in Manchester. Alright, so you're, play, you're playing a good guy? Uh, yeah, um, I'm playing a policeman and then I go to Aladdin uh, in Manchester playing Aladdin, which is a bit weird, but fair play. Skating to Ain't No Sunshine, please welcome onto the ice Chris Fountain and Frankie Pogney! The only advice I could give to anybody who wants to become an actor is, for a start off, um, learn to act. <laughs> it's kind of essential. And then get an agent, because there's so many people who come up to me go, oh, I'm looking into acting, but there's only so many auditions you can go for when you don't have an agent, because um, there's only so many open auditions, the X Factors and the, and the Hollyoaks on the pole and all kind of stuff like that. It's open for everybody to go to, whereas if you've got an agent, they get you into the closed auditions. So. Once you get your pictures on a website and on, on their books, then someone can look at the books and go, he'd be perfect for this 626 part, send him along, which is kind of what's been my life for the past like two or three weeks, going down and auditioning for stuff. Yeah, and did, you, did your agent originally think you'd be perfect to be a goth, and that's why? Um, no, originally, the, I, I don't know what the, the, the criteria was for, for Justin, but they the said they wanted a young lad, randomly, who could play football, um, pretty good looking, don't know how that happened. Um, but yeah, I think that was a criteria for Justin. And it was strange for me because, it, like, looking back now, in Hollyoaks at the moment, there's only five people who were in the original cast when I started. So it's really, it's a really quick turnaround for Hollyoaks because there's so many characters come and go. And luckily for me, um, we felt like they should keep Justin on for six years, which is uh, very good for me. And I can't complain about any of the storylines I had because they were all fantastic. All I do is love you. 
Turn the cow for you. you. You're lucky, you know, to have that. No, I'm sorry. This, you're not too good for this for me. No, don't say that. Look at this. Wait, you part of the nightclub in Leeds? I do, yes. Do you have a guy in the toilet who uh, offers sprays? I do, dirt? yes. His name's Andrew, and he, uh, he's got a whole variety of aftershaves, lollipops, chewing gums, all sorts of stuff. Uh, what's his best line? Uh, like his best line to... is um, no splash, no gap. <laughs> Simon decides to spend all day drinking and then tell Carly he loves her by spray painting on her dad's driveway. Who said romance is dead? The in between us tonight at 10. Nexo Earls out of his karma coma and on the trail for the love of his life. Sings, he sings and everything. Beatboxes, sings, he's a, he's a genius. Yeah, he's brilliant, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, um, Chris, thank you. thanks very much. No problem, nice to meet you. Take care. Cheers, thank you.